and part of my role takes me to many of our Pacific um, neighbours and to visit our Pacific church partners um, and climate change is real. It is real in their everyday lives, in um, their living, in their food security, in their eating um, and in the, the cyclones and the natural disasters that they are experiencing more regularly. A couple of years ago, I went to Tuvalu. Um, it was shortly after Cyclone Pan, and I was staying in the, the hotel on the waterfront, and I woke up in the morning to find the waves breaking over the balconies downstairs. Um, it is real. It was real for them. In Kiribati, every time there's a king tide, parts of the island flood over completely from side to side. Um, this is their reality. In the Pacific, identity is tied to land and language and tribe and place. And with climate change, there are nations now facing the very real reality of non-existence. Kiribati and Tuvalu are on the front lines of that. But there are communities along the shorelines in Solomon Islands, in Fiji, where communities are being moved, relocated, fishing communities, ocean, water communities being moved inland because of the effect of climate change and the raised sea, sea levels. But how do, how do seawater people live on the land? How do they learn to be a different identity to who they are? Um, as the Uniting Church in Australia, we, we need to be good neighbours. We need to speak to our government. We need to be active in our churches, our brothers and sisters here in the Pacific. Um, we need to walk in solidarity and we need to, we need to support.